Hey, what's up you guys? This is Andrew from AJ Brothers. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to clean an intercooler. And <coughs> respray a stencil. So here's the intercooler. As you can tell, it's got a little wear and tear. It's not super bad like most you see on YouTube, but I'm just gonna basically be cleaning it up with a brake parts cleaner and respraying this stencil because it's pretty faded. All right, so first things first, we're gonna be taking off the couplers right here. There we go. Sweet. Now we're gonna get to cleaning. Okay, so now that the intercooler is off the car, we're going to be using this brake clean, and this will be used to spray on the ETS stencil. We're gonna be using Purple Power because the brake parts cleaner is not working as well as I thought it was going to. You just want to soak it completely as much as you can on there. Now we're going to let it soak for about five, maybe ten minutes, so I'll be back. It's been about five minutes or so, so I'm going to grab this little McGuire's brush I have found in my garage. I'm going to spray one last little coat. I'm going to grab our brake parts cleaner again. Looks like a lot of the dirt has came off. Not all of it, but a lot of it. It's pretty hard to get these intercoolers sparkly clean again, but you can always just do the best you can. Here's what it looks like right now. I mean, it does look a lot cleaner in my opinion. It was very dirty right here. There's some oil spots from when my oil cooler was leaking. So now I'm just gonna hit it with a hose real quick, let it dry. Then set it on top of this box, tape it off with the stencil and the paper, and use this all-purpose flat enamel paint. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I just rinsed it off. It's looking really good in my opinion. So the easiest way I found to line up the stencil is basically along with the radiator uh, like entrance points right here. So you want to just like match up to your best ability. And for my sake, I already had a stencil on there. So it's pretty straightforward from here. You just want to line up these little areas in between the letters. Because if you line up the letters itself, and it might be all off center over here because it does fade away as you can see. It's pretty, it's pretty old. So now that everything is taped off, not too pretty, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna want to start shaking. Do light coats. Just want to get every little corner, make it look brand new again. So while that's dry, I just want to show you guys. If you plan on uh, basically polishing up any of your aluminum or intercooler piping, I recommend Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Shit works wonders. All right, so I took it off when the camera was not on. I had to change the batteries and I was just getting really impatient, but here's the final result. Looks pretty good in my opinion. And uh, yes, this is a real ETS intercooler, so I'm not flexing the stencil. As you can tell, shit's fat. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna let this dry for a little longer and then uh, probably just polish up these little inlets right here and then we'll be good to go. All right, so here's a little before pretty dull. Here's after. It's a lot shinier. So we're gonna now do the rest of the intercooler and then I'll show you the end result. Okay so here's the end result. Looks a lot better than before. Super stoked about the final product. I mean it's not perfect but let me tell you man that makes a huge difference. So 
Really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. And if you'd like to see anything, leave a comment down in the section below and just let me know. Peace.